Hey, Wilson, I just wanted to fill you in on a recent hiccup that God provided to us today, and unfortunately, Cecilia Hopper has expressed an interest in a new church in Texas that really needs her leadership, so um, uh, until we find a replacement, we'd like for you to, uh, to be the working youth pastor. Anyways, give me a call when you get the chance, and we'll talk more. Thanks. Bye. Uh, USF. That's what I said. But but anyways, I mean that's that's great. Yeah, I mean I got a full scholarship, so why not? Oh wow, a free ride. Yeah, something like that. That's that's great. Yeah, yeah. So I look before I went, I wanted you to hear something that's kind of been bothering me, and I wanted you to hear it from me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So a few months back, when I first came here, I kind of had a thing for Micaiah, and it's not like anything ever happened. I don't think she even really knew who I was. But I just wanted to tell you, and uh, you to hear it from me, at least. Very interesting. Yeah. So she rejected you. Well, it's not like she rejected me. She didn't know She who rejected I... you because she has feelings for someone else. Uh, oh, 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 gosh. Very, 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 very interesting. Listen, I wanted to talk to you because I heard that you rejected Kelly. I'm sorry? Listen, I, I understand. You don't have to tell me, but I... I... What, are you, what are you talking about? Sorry. Okay. Is that the promise ring I gave you? Yes, and I wear it on my wedding finger to show that I am weddingly in love with you. This is weird. One, I did not reject Kelly. Two... I'm not into you. No. Three, you're now my youth pastor. That's weird. Um, well, I think you are wrong and- Men are trash. They flirt with you, make you laugh, get you to like them, date you, then proceed to leave or go crazy. I call it the circle of trash. They ask you out, yet somehow you're the one who ends up planning the date and paying for the date. Most of the time, we wouldn't even have noticed their existence if they hadn't pursued us first. And then you come to the realization, oh man, they don't have a car. They grow up in this mindset of entitlement and they wonder why we say, oh man, every time something difficult or disappointing happens. 